Hi everybody, I'm David Cohen, the CEO of Fluence, and you're watching another episode of Fluence Unfiltered. We don't just stick to a strategy, even if it's not working, and just trust that it'll work. You know, you don't have time, and time is money. And so therefore, if, if we're trying something and it's not working, we, we quickly stop. Right? Try whatever it is, but if it doesn't work, get the hell out as quickly as possible and go on to something else. 100%, yeah. and you're gonna hear me talk a lot about the team today. You know, our IP is our team. Yeah. We have, we have close to 120 employees, two thirds of them, architects, engineers, construction management, and horticulturists, and plant scientists. So it's that, it's that team and their expertise and experience from working on five, over 500 projects uh, at this point. Uh, we've we've learned a lot, and so that's that's what we we base our decisions and our strategic direction on. Yeah, I love the the pivoting analogy, and I can relate it. I, I not an entrepreneur, but I was hired and brought into Fluence after the entrepreneurs who extremely successfully grew the business into a very well known brand name, then exited, and you know looking at what they had done, and you know trying to take the best of what was working, but also being able to pivot, and that is the primary thing that got you and I connected was Fluence, you know, the mandate when I got there and the, the way that the, the people who founded the company ran it and grew it was direct, direct, direct. You talk to customers direct, you've got to be able to convince them directly what the value proposition is and they'll pay the value for it. And it was an easy model to follow, but it was a very difficult model to scale. Right? Because direct, 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 how big are you going to get? How many salespeople? Oh, and so I started thinking about, let's start to engage with people indirectly. Let's go find partners who can touch more. And let's look at, you know, cannabis is great. And in 2018 and 19, it was, you know, it was unbelievable, the growth. But let's look to commercial agriculture. Let's look to CEA. Let's look to vertical farming. It's applicable technology that goes across a number of different spectrums. So it sounds like you know, what we were doing at Fluence is just really similar to the story you're telling, just continually looking at what's going on, mm -hmm. you know, re, uh, reinforce and fortify what's working, but also think about how you can take advantage of things when they obviously or eventually change, right? Everyone loves to win the deal, right? Celebrate yeah. winning the deal, but it's paying attention to the failures when you don't win and learning from why you failed um, that helps you reconstruct your your strategy yeah. and and decrease those failures and increase those uh, those successes well and especially in this market I mean we've talked uh, in, in other episodes um, of how difficult successfully growing is uh, I have a, a great mentor that I work with who you know he advocates you know how bad things can get when you succeed mm -hmm. and it's just it's the rate of change and I know that you saw the same thing that we saw. It was it was astronomical. Yeah. The growth was unmanageable, but it was like you were riding a rocket ship and you couldn't get off. Mm -hmm. The journey, when you started here and you end here, it's filled with pitfalls. Can you talk a little bit about, I mean, you talked about one of them. I, I listed the company and then all of a sudden there's COVID. Yeah. That's a disaster. Do you have any other things like that that people can say, oh, wow, okay, the guy's here, the company's yeah. here, he was here, it's not a straight line, get ready, because it's, you know, we had another guest on uh, at the beginning of these, the series who said, I didn't know whether to come to work each day with a helmet or a cup, yeah. you know, and, and, it, and he's successful. So yeah. do, do you have any insight into things like that? Well, first, so we started here, we're only here. We have a long ways to go. I like to say we're just getting started right now. Yeah. When I'm talking to, uh, to investors, um, we're in the bottom of the second right now, so we, we have a long way to go and a lot more to, to learn along the way. But when you grow, especially so rapidly like we did over the last two years, you introduce all of the people. It was so easy when there's four of us at Urban Grow, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> and then, and now you have 100 and, and we're making acquisitions. Uh, we've made a few and we're making, uh, we have an appetite to make a lot more, but there's a lot of moving parts. And it's at the same time, you want to make sure you're paying attention to your employees. If, if you, you, you we, we spend a lot of money training key employees and, and we make sure that one of the benefits of the NASDAQ is we can give them options. 
or mm -hmm. restricted stock units. So we make sure that they're always well compensated and vesting because if you lose one of those key employees, it really puts you back because we've invested so much money mm -hmm. in getting them to, to where they're at. So I would say um, paying attention to, to our employees. Uh, there's some I can think of when you're like, darn, you know, I missed that one. And, and when you have so many, it's so hard to, to manage. And then integrating companies in, and they have yeah. their strong employees. So it's determining, hey, who are the key players here that we have to keep? In our next episode, we'll go beyond CEA to explore additional technologies that might shape the future of the industry and see how they could benefit your business. We'll see you then.